no, I didn't put the sign on again. I keep forgetting. I need like a like a remote to be like boop, beep, bop, dibbity. Oh wait, no, I don't want to do the. Probably can't say the the guy's name yet because I don't want to get shadow banned. <laughs> but basically, he goes beep, bop, boop, beep, and he, you know, we don't like that guy. Uh oh. Should I turn the light on while no one's here? I'll turn it on. One sec. That's better. Hi, spider milk. Hi, spider milk. <laughs> what is up? What's going on? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. I turned it on because I was like, okay, okay. But this can dim, this can be dimmed a little bit because, oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. I'm not streaming from the setup today, but tomorrow I'll be streaming from the setup. And maybe the next day, I'm not sure. Yay, this spider can make spider milk for us now. Yes, we love that. Sorry, my cat's playing with this toy that's moving. Like, it's like one of those to cat toys that go without anyone controlling it. It just kind of goes. And he is just like terrified of it. But it's like this big. It's like, come on. If you were in the wild right now, you'd be eating that mouse. And it like is in the shape of a mouse and everything. Come on, come on, let's pick it up, everybody. So today, I don't know. Today, how am I? I'm good, okay? Honestly, I wasn't good for a while today. Not that I was particularly sad. I was just tired. You know, it's like the Monday. Like, I feel like we have normalized Mondays being horrible, boring, you know, don't want to get up on the Monday, have to go to work, blah, blah, blah. I feel like that's kind of normalized nowadays. Like, people post memes about it. You know, it's like an Instagram story thing. You know, it's kind of like gotten to the point where actually I have a statistic because I did a little bit of research for you, okay? 80% of people say Monday is their most stressful day at work. And 41% of people dislike Mondays the most compared to other days. Now this is, this is, I mean, it's kind of true, I guess, right? Because you have to go to work, but... I guess, or college or school, exactly. Something that, you know, the weekend is your break, typically, unless, you know, you work on the weekends, which I guess some, that's probably why it's only 40%. Maybe some people are just positive golden retriever people. I don't know, you know how people are like golden retriever? Can't relate, not me, not, I'm not her, but um, I wonder what dog I would be if I was a dog breed. <laughs> I feel like I'd be like annoying, but like kind of liked by some, I don't know, small, but I, you know, I got a big bark sometimes. Okay. I got a big bark, big bite. <laughs> um, oh, I'm back. I finally was busy. Yay. Yay. That's awesome. I'm glad you made it. Woo. I'm mean, recently just talking about how Mondays are like, everyone dreads Mondays because you have to go to work, you have to go to school, you have to go to college. And it's kind of been this n normalized thing that now, like, I feel like when I was a kid, it wasn't that, oh, it's Monday tomorrow. Like, you know, like I just, maybe it was because I was a kid though. I don't know if it was because I was a kid or because I didn't like have social media when I was a kid. So I wasn't like getting those like, you know, Instagram feed things that are like Mondays or, you know, I don't know, or I didn't have responsibilities. That's probably it. Theo again. <laughs> Theo. Theo and E and only Annabelle. Theo. Theo and Annabelle. We love that you that you guys share an account. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> that's crazy that I, I missed. Oh my god. One time someone's name username was here. Let me see if I could type it. I can't type it on this. It makes no sense. Let me see if I could type it on my on my computer. Basically, who cares? It was the letter Q, the letter T, P, A, 
I don't remember if there was like an eight in it or something. Pay eight tootie. Basically it was cutie patootie was their like name, but they like spelled it like Q P whatever. And I literally <laughs> read it off. I think it must be in one of my videos still. I don't remember. It was one of the early ones. And I'm like, Oh, thank you. This Reddit poster, Q T pa two T. Like I was reading it. Like I did not, I did not pick up on it. And then I was like, Oh, cutie patootie. I don't remember what video that was in. I wish there was a way. There's going to be a way one day where you can just like, com you know, how you could command F if you have a Mac. I don't know. What is it? Control F on a window. I don't know. Option shift something. I don't know. But you know, how you can command F and like, like, web pages. I wish there was something or documents. I wish there was, you could do that for, um, videos because I, there's so many like things that I'm like, I don't remember what video that was, or I don't remember what live that was. And I want to go back to it, but I can't, I guess you could get a transcript, but I feel like we haven't really gotten to the point where transcripts are super good yet for, uh, for videos, but the spider leak spider milk in the cauldron confirmed. This is confirmed. This is this is the spider, there's the milk. Oh my God, we should just like, I should just dump some milk, but then people are gonna be like, you're wasteful, you're wasteful. Actually, today I did get um, a lavender latte, which was interesting. It was okay, like I'm, eh, I don't know. Like it was, like as I, I hate saying this, as I get older, as I get wiser, as my palate expands, I've recently liked the taste of some floral. Like, you know, I used to hate rose water anything. Like, I'd be like, that's only to smell or for makeup or whatever. But, you know those, like, rose Turkish delight things? They make me feel bougie. They taste good. I don't know. So I had a lavender latte this morning. Not that anyone, <laughs> not that anyone really cares, but I just thought I would throw that out there. And it wasn't purple though. Like I kind of was upset about that. I was like, where's the lavender color in this? You know, why isn't this purple? I wanted it to be purple. Anyway, so, okay. So basically, yeah, blah, blah, blah. People hate Mondays. This was supposed to, okay. The reason why I was doing this specific live about like, I was going to be like, okay, let's talk about Mondays. Let's try to make you feel good on this Monday. Let's try to be happy, positive. Cause like, you know, if I'm home alone, I'm not going to be like that. But if I have like other people watching me, I'm going to be like, yes, let's go. Let's get it. Come on, guys. It only goes up from here. Tomorrow's Tuesday. You made it first day of the week. Like, let's do this. Um, But I, yeah, I'm not like that when I'm alone. But I think maybe because I'm an extrovert and I... Excuse me, sir. <laughs> just ignore whatever noise you made my effort. But, um... Yeah, why was I talking about this again? Oh, because on top of it being a Monday, it was Daylight Savings Day this past week. Weekend. Week? Wait, when was it? Is it? Was it Saturday night? When was Daylight? I love how I don't even know. And I'm like, I'm going to talk. Oh my God, it was literally last night. Why do... No, wait. Wait. No, wait. When? When do you turn your clocks forward or whatever. When do you turn your headlights on? That's not what I asked. Weekend, just the weekend in general, but which day was it? I don't remember. I think it was Saturday. Cause I think I was like, I need more sleep, which is good. Cause isn't it sometimes it's on a Sunday night and then you wake up on a Monday and you feel like extra, like, oh, I'm down bad today. Like I am down bad. So, okay. It was Saturday. Okay, cool. Um, but still, regardless, I feel like people's bodies are adjusting, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, on top of it be excuse me, I hate when I burp on live, but like, what am I supposed to do? I guess you go and you hold it, but that can't be good for me. There should be like a burp button where I can just like hit a button to mute. I guess I could mute myself just, but that's kind of weird to do. Okay. I just called myself out for being weird. Great. Good. Good. Saturday night in the morning of Sunday. Okay, so that's better than Sunday night to Monday, but it's still not great. I mean, it's still not ideal. And so this is, this, you know, made me start Googling about daylight savings. What the, what's the point, you know, do, does everyone have this? I mean, I know like obviously United States is a big one for it, but um, there's some states that actually recently have changed their 
they just eliminated it. Like, uh, Arizona does not have daylight savings. The other states do, but it can be easily changed if, you know, the state wants it to change. California apparently voted to change to eliminate daylight savings a few years ago, I think, and they voted for it and like, you know, passed whatever, woohoo, who needs daylight savings? We don't need this anymore, blah. And then it's, they just never got rid of it. So they just still have it. And it's like, okay, here's the thing. All right, daylight savings, it's like, okay, why do we care? Is it really that big of a deal? Like you're upset for like, what, a day, like a week? Like who cares? What's the point? Why are you mad about it? Here's an interesting fact, okay? <clears throat> <laughs> this is me just stalling because I need more time to find the actual fact that I was going to say. There is actually a marked increase in the number of heart attacks and strokes the day after we jump an hour ahead. People with weak vascular health, like the elderly, are usually who are affected in this. But this also goes, I don't know if I could say trigger warning on live, but for mental health things. I don't know. The day after is apparently very, the difference in a statistic is very prevalent in the day after daylight savings versus the day before, whatever. You get the point, like on average, you know. So it's like, why do we have this thing that's like, one, causing people to literally be like, oh my God, I have, I have no sleep, da, 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 whatever. You, you know, and then on top of it, it's like close to Monday. So you already have that. Then on top of it, you have the old people that are literally having heart attacks because of daylight savings. Why, like, why are we doing this anymore? It's so, it's so confusing. And then it's like meetings, okay? Then the meetings get all shit. Like, I'm like pretending I have meetings. This is my meeting. This is my meeting. And I still don't make it on time for my, I'm just kidding. But anyway, you get what I mean? Okay, I had meetings before and I still have some meetings, okay? I have things to do. I know it's unbelievable, but I do things. <laughs> anyway, who cares? So on top of that, people are saying that maybe, you know, there's some theories that the reason why we have daylight savings in the first place is actually a little bit sinister. Hmm? Hmm? You know what I mean? Why do we have this thing, right? Where people are saying, you know, it stresses them out. There are a bunch of, you know, research studies on this. They're saying that people are dying because of this. People are, you know, having heart attack, whatever it is. Um, why do we do it in the first place? Okay. Apparently in the late 1700s, it's often attributed to Benjamin Franklin. Uh, this was a, this was a practice. This is, this is what people say. Okay. This is what we're taught in school, that it's a practice to accommodate farmers so that farmers have more daylight hours to keep on keeping on. They're like, I'm going to be getting this corn. Like we're getting this corn all day into the night because it's light outside. And it's like, don't you have lights? But I guess back then they didn't have light. I'm like, don't you have lights on your farm? Why don't you have the big, like I have a light. I have a but. Look at my lights in this place. I'm a. Maybe that's not good for my electricity. Maybe I need solar. Am I canceled? Am I? Um. Suddenly I'm canceled because of this rant. But anyway, so these farmers, right? They, they, um, they apparently are trying to, you know, accommodate them and the agricultural work, agri agricultural workers. There we go. That's how you say it. Uh. Hello, I keep doing that. I keep inhaling my bangs and no one wants it. And, you know, there's some theories that it's to lower the nation's electricity usage because you're getting more sunlight. You don't need the, you know, whatever. There's also some, um, you know, this, this one makes sense. A reasonable issue is the late winter sunrise it would create. People are concerned about kids and themselves starting winter days in darkness. But wait, that doesn't... Now that I'm thinking about it, they're concerned that their kid is going to their kid is going to start their day in darkness. Wouldn't you rather your kid like be on their way to school in darkness instead of coming home? I don't know. Maybe that maybe that's bias on me on my part. But like I just remember oh man, my, I just this is <laughs> I like remember, I don't know what they're even called. When you get, when your parents get like a warning that there's like someone in a van, it's not, 
not the amber not the amber alert but like i don't remember what it was called it was just like on the news when i was in middle school or whatever when i would i would walk home alone you know mom's at work dad's i don't know <laughs> where <laughs> excuse me sir where are you anyway um Kayla is exactly what we need. I love it. Yes, I love. I kind of tried to. I tried to include a little bit of a conspiracy theory just for you, actually. Well, it's not really. A, it's just people basically saying like daylight savings time. Like, why do we still have it? You know, is it really because it's like because the farmers need more daylight? Like that's so. Or like the electricity usage that claim. Like that's clearly not what it is anymore. But. Hi, everybody. This should be a video. LOL. I'm sorry. I know. Sometimes, actually, I have a really good live set for tomorrow that I, like, I spent all day preparing for that live. But then Xenu was like, I want to be a part of that one. And I was like, okay. And so I was like, I guess I'll wait for tomorrow. But basically, okay, now I'm going on another subject. Okay, this is my brain. This is the daylight savings topic. We're, we're now jump. Okay, we're going to go back to this, but we're jumping. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Into tomorrow. <laughs> Ooh, 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 wow. Love the basketball. Kobe. Oh, wait. I can't say that anymore, right? Or is it fine now? Rest in peace. I'm serious, though. Love him. Respect him. They do daylight savings, so you have more time in your pool in the summer. <gasps> that is true. Uh, I am a pool girly. <laughs> I am a pool girly. That is true. Okay, but what is the point? Okay, okay. Well, we'll get there in a second. But we're just going ahead till tomorrow. Tomorrow's live, I just wanted to give a little preface. Preface? Is it preface or preface? I think it's preface. <laughs> I love how I say these things out loud, like instead of just ignoring the fact that I just said a mispronunciation. But if I address it now, it's better because then people can't be like, oh, did she pronounce it wrong? Stupid. You know? Anyway. So uh, tomorrow we're doing a topic on, I think we're doing it live, about Kate Middleton. Does anyone know who that is? Does anyone does anyone know who Kate Middleton, Princess of Wales? Is that what she is? The Princess of Wales? Wait, Kate Middleton, official title. I love how I'm like, I did so much research today. But now that I'm looking back, oh my god, no, she's the Duchess of Cambridge. Who the heck is the is oh, is that her daughter? Yet yeah. Catherine? Wait, she's both a princess? Okay, so she is, I guess, the Princess of Wales. I don't know. I'm not, I am not, uh, well, I am English, but I am <laughs> British, but um, I don't follow the royal family until this conspiracy theory. Has anyone heard about Kate Middle here? Actually, let me do a poll because this is interesting. I want to see if anyone actually, um, do you know the uh, T on Kate <laughs> By do you know the T, I basically mean like, do you know why I'm going to be talking about it tomorrow, if that makes sense? Um, like, do you know what's in the news headlines about Kate Middleton? I'm trying to. Where's the other guy that's usually on the stream? Um, I was talking to him today. I, I got to go on my computer and see. Ooh, no one knows the T? It's okay. It's okay. Don't be ashamed. I want honesty here. There is T. There is T on this. Okay, so people don't really seem to know. I mean, I, I, I there's only six votes, I'm just realizing. <laughs> but there is T. And it is piping hot. Okay, I don't know if it's T as much as concerning. <laughs> I don't know if it's concerning. I might get the royal family no no one's gonna even know that this exists the royal i'm like the royal family what is it called the wim the wimbledon is it the no that's the that's the that's the that's the f tennis thing what windsor <laughs> the wimbledon castle is crazy to say the wit right is it windsor just checking just checking for my own bullet you know Okay, yeah, I guess. But I don't know if she's not there currently, but where is she? That's the T. Okay, so whatever. So people voted. It's fine. Um, essentially, I guess I'll just set it up for tomorrow. Just, you know, maybe you guys will come back to see the whole video on it. But essentially, I can't want to put my laptop down. I'm like better. I don't look at it as much. Okay, obviously. <laughs> 
I still look at it when it's closed. Are you okay? Um, no, basically, there's this theory that the last photograph via paparazzi prior to a few days ago of Kate Middleton, a.k.a. the future queen of England, or whatever they want to call her, Princess of Wales, da -da 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 -da, whatever, all of these names, who cares? She was last seen, like, she was last pho photographed December 25th, 2023. So, how many months is this now? December, January, January, February, February, March. Again, I know it's not the end of March, but that's a long time. Three, nearly three months. Well, let's just say two or two and a half, okay? And she hasn't been seen in the public. She hasn't been photographed. People are like, you know, what's going on, whatever. And... What are you talking about? I just joined. Basically, you know, the royal family. We're talking about Prince William and his wife, future queen of England, I guess, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know where she is. Basically, we're talking about what we're going to be talking about t on tomorrow's live, which there's these theories that Kate Middleton is missing. She's either disappeared, something's being covered up, she's either... not here anymore. There's these theories. Okay. And I, I don't know if I should keep going with this because I wanted to save it for tomorrow. But now I feel like this is so incomplete that I'm just like, oh, there are these theories. And everyone's like, really? Really? So let me just give you a little bit. Okay. So I gave you, I said that December 25th, Christmas day was the last time she was photographed by paparazzi in her typical, you know, blue suit, beautiful little hat, looking like a queen, whatever. Then January 17th, I believe, or sometime in January, the, you know, Kensington, oh my God, I keep saying Windsor Castle. Isn't it the Kensington Palace? How many, how, how many, they own like all of England, these people. They have so many ha homes, cottages, vacation stays, uh, abodes. I don't know what else they would say. <laughs> Villas, I don't know, fancy words. I don't know fancy words. <laughs> Um, hi, Daniela. Buckingham. Yeah, I don't know why I forgot how to, you know, sometimes when I'm on these lives, I just like blank out on certain like facts about life for some reason. Hi, Pagey Poo. Let's go. Hi, Daniela. Okay. Sorry, I keep getting sidetracked because I'm like thinking. Okay. So, so the last time Kate Middleton was seen, like I said, photographed at least by the paparazzi was December 25th. We're fast forwarding a few weeks in January. The palace or whatever you call the people that report on them, they announced an official statement basically saying the queen, or not the queen, Princess of Wales, Catherine Middleton, whatever they want to call her, is undergoing a pre-planned surgery on her abdomen. And she won't be, you know, coming to public appearances for the next, like, two months. They basically said until after Easter. So they basically led up with, in January, they're like, okay, she's not coming through. This surgery was planned, by the way. This wasn't an emergency or anything. Even though she was taken to the emergency room before they released this statement. And on top of that, this same place, you know, the same, <laughs> the same place, the same palace, whatever you want to, I don't even know what the right terminology is, but whatever. The, their PR thing that they release statements they basically said that they were going to be in Italy in early January or January. So you're saying that she had a planned surgery in January, but you just announced December 23rd that they were, they were going on a trip to Italy. So it doesn't seem like it was a planned abdominal surgery. And also for an abdominal surgery to take someone out for, I don't know, over six weeks, eight weeks, this has to be a pretty intense surgery. Like there, I mean, there's so many theories on what kind of surgery it was. Was it a tummy tuck? Was it because she ate something because she, I don't know, I don't know how long I have to preface a tr trigger warning, but I'm going to say an eating, an ED, I don't know if that makes it any better abbreviating it, but People are just questioning why she was hospitalized so quickly, why she hasn't been seen since December 25th, okay? 
So she hasn't been seen since December 25th until like a week ago. And I, I'm not giving you all the details that we have because I want to save it for tomorrow, like an actual well-structured out like webcam video where I pull up the photos and I pull up the clips and I pull up all the evidence or whatever you want to say. But until, you know, maybe a week or so ago, I don't remember the exact date, um, this, you know, they have this Instagram called like the princess and the Kate Middleton, whatever. They have this official Instagram that they use. And they, she basically posts this photo of her and her children, you know, future queen, the little guy, the future king. I don't know any of their names. I forgot all of them because I really don't care about the royal family. The only reason why I care about this is because of the, of theories like this about them, like the princess Diana stuff. This whole thing is crazy. The Meghan Harry stuff. This is, this is the tea. I don't care if, you know, I don't care about Pippa Middleton down in the Bahamas or wherever she vacationed, or that's definitely not where she vacationed, but she vacationed somewhere. I See, I don't know, because I don't care. But the things like this, where like the, the castle or whatever, the, I don't even know, again, I can't, you know what, let me just look it up so I don't sound like I'm crazy. Um, it's not the... I don't know what they like call them officially. Like what is the name of the people that put out the, is it the palace? Like the palace says this, the palace does that. Um, but basically it is just kind of bizarre. And this is after all of these cheating scandal, like these cheating rumors that Prince William or whatever his name, <laughs> whatever that guy, you know, the future King of England or that, whatever. Whatever that guy, you know, he's done that. There's so many theories on that alone, like him and Kate Middleton and da, 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 whatever. Like it's getting to the point where I'm like actually concerned and like she's possibly not alive. Like just throwing that out there. I know it sounds crazy. I know you're probably like this woman is insane. <laughs> but, you know, this is... Okay, I don't want to give too much again because this is literally the PowerPoint that I was supposed to show or, or talk about, I guess. Well, show and talk about. Um, but basically, she wasn't seen, you know, until March 4th, where she was photographed in the passenger seat of her mom's car. The pic the person in this photo doesn't look like her. It doesn't look like Kate Middleton. This could be because, you know, maybe she's bloated from surgery. Maybe she's on steroids. Maybe she's on whatever it is. But people are like, is this the sister? Is this a body double? What's going on? I know that one seems a little bit far-fetched because it's like, you know, the mom's in the photo. I don't think her mom's going to be like, I think her, well, I, I don't think her mom can even speak about it. She probably had to sign so many things. She probably can't talk about anything about her daughter Oh, so crazy. It's so crazy. So anyway, this first photo was released in honor of Mother's Day in the UK. Um, Kensington Palace, that's what it is. Okay, so it is Kensington Palace. Okay. Shares a photo of Kate and her children, which the palace says was taken by her husband, Prince William, earlier in the week at Kensington Palace. So without showing you too much of like my slideshow that like whatever. This is the photo. Okay. You can Google it. You can Google Kate Middleton first photo online, whatever. The thing is people were, people were analyzing this photo because people are concerned. They're like, where is she? You know, like we haven't seen her in months. This is the first photo. This is the announcement of like, oh, she's okay. She's all good. Happy mother's day, girly. And then it's just this photo of her sitting in a chair with her children around her. And then Prince William took the photo. Anyway, this photo has a hand that's blurred. Her daughter's skirt is all, I'll show you tomorrow. I'll show you all the things. But I don't even need to show you because after, you know, people were calling this out, the top news agencies that reported on this photo in the first place removed it because they said it was an altered image. They... Like, they acknowledged it. Like, Reuters, like, all of these, I don't remember the other major news agency that, like, reports on whatever, the royals. But all of these companies removed the photo from, like, their articles because they were like, this isn't reliable. Like, we're journalists. We can't just put up a doctored photo. So they're like, 
why would someone who hasn't come to, who hasn't been seen in the public since December 25th, who had surgery after these, like, the, I mean, maybe it's gossip, but after these cheating scandals, whatever, why would she post this photo of herself, which, by the way, she's not wearing, an, she's not wearing her ring. Which, like, I know that sounds crazy, because, like, what if she was washing the dishes? <laughs> Did I just say that? <laughs> what if she was washing the dishes? I wonder where the last time she washed the dish was. Can't relate. Anyway, so it's just crazy to me. Like, you know, so anyway, the reason why I said, why, was she washing the dishes? Because that's usually what people would say. Like, if they took their ring off, it's like, oh, I don't like to sleep with my ring on. Or, like... Oh, I was washing the dishes. I was cleaning. I didn't want to ruin it. But it's like when you're a, when you are the future queen of England, when you are the royal woman of the world. Let, I, okay, this is I know this is biased because I'm sure there are a bunch of countries that have beautiful, amazing royal families. But just looking at the numbers and how many people are actually interested in the royal family of England versus other countries, she is the royal queen, <laughs> queen of the world, right? Or of this world. We don't know if there's some alien. I'm the queen of another planet. Okay, guys. I'm just kidding. That was a little cocky. All right. Tone it down, girl. Tone it down. Anyway. Um, sorry, I'm like reading the, the chat and also talking about this like crazy thing. King Charles. Yes. So that's a whole other thing with King Charles. I'm not going to get too much into it because I'm going to reiterate this tomorrow. But hey, maybe it's going to be, maybe you guys can't make it tomorrow. So whatever, who cares? I'm like, whatever. I just have a, I have a PowerPoint and like, I haven't made a PowerPoint since college. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, actually, this is the ugliest PowerPoint I've ever made in my entire life. Because why? Because we don't need to zhuzh it up with a bunch of stuff. You just need the information and the photos. Who cares about, you know, the, the, transitions or whatever that's a bunch of I hate that anyway so anyway I, I forgot where I was oh yeah so you're telling me that that this woman this woman Kate Middleton just took her ring off for the photo the first photo that was released of her in months after she had abdominal surgery and she's not wearing a ring I mean, and it's not even like, okay, let me show you. It's not even like the photo, like, it's not even like it's so far away where it's like, okay, come on, you're like, you're, you're really gonna zoom in on the photo that much. Like, this is, like, it's obvious. Look at all their, their hands are all out. Her hand is around her son. Her hand is around her daughter. You can see their hands, her hands very evidently. And maybe, maybe okay, maybe, you know what? I changed my mind. Maybe it is because, you know, she's, recovering right maybe she goes you know I know when you go to MRIs you're not supposed to wear jewelry and whatever but I don't know it just seems like someone at the palace someone on their PR team would know to put the ring in the photo like they would know for her to wear it you know and you know that they don't have a say in what gets uploaded and what doesn't right like oh wow e wow <laughs> <laughs> leave the royal fam alone. <laughs> I'm not ripping them apart. I'm just, we want justice for Kate Middleton. I don't know where she is. I don't think she's even here. I don't, I don't, I really don't. I really don't. And maybe, hey, maybe I'm the, I'm the one that is, you know, making something out of nothing. But tomorrow's live. I'll be going through all of the photos all of the timeline. Why did they announce Charles's um, diagnoses of cancer the day after Kate? They announced that Kate Middleton was, you know, her whole hospital stay. Also, none of her children visited her in the hospital the entire time she was there for weeks. This is over two weeks, by the way. Prince William only visited her once at this hospital. You know, this is all alleged. Okay, this is just what people have reported on, but like credible sources, right? Like there are paparazzi that live outside, like essentially live outside of the palace. Like they are on top of this. 
Like, the, I don't... There are more paparazzi following them than, like, the Card like Kim Kardashian, right? Like, they are the most desired, like, paparazzi, whatever. That's why the whole Princess Diana... Don't want to bring it up. Rest in peace, Princess Diana. That's not a joke. I'm serious. I think something wrong happened there. And that's another reason why I'm so concerned with this time that I'm like, you know, it's not pretty far-fetched to think that they would, they would, you know, cover some things up. Are you going to give everything away before tomorrow? <laughs> no, not everything. We have photos. We have, oh, TV, camera, cat cam, cat cam. We'll talk about this again tomorrow, but we'll talk about it with, like, the whole PowerPoint. <laughs> Look at him. Cutie. Love his donut collar. Love that for him. Um, let's go, Abby. Woo, Abby. Woo, 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 woo. I love you, spider milk. How many teeth do spiders? <laughs> you guys are crazy. So, anyway, I didn't mean to talk about this entirely. I just kind of wanted to, like, lead up onto it. But then they have their own paparazzi. That's crazy. They must because only the photos that... See, I'm, now I'm giving away too much. But you'll see. The, the photos that were recently released of her, or the photo, I should say, was her, her face was turned away from it. And that was the only one available. Like, if, if paparazzi saw her driving in a car... And they were like non-biased. They're allowed to take whatever, take the photos and go and publish them. We would have more than this one photo of her turned away. So it's a little sketchy, you know. It's a little sketchy. I don't know. So we'll talk. We'll get into it tomorrow. Uh, well, I'll get another opinion. Zenu will fight me on it probably. Maybe he'll ground me a little bit in the sense that I'm just getting like crazy over this because of the Princess Diana thing. But, um, so that was one of the things that I wanted to lead up to, I guess, in this live. Another thing that I wanted to talk about, which, like, by the way, I don't have to stick on to a, like, strict schedule. I just wanted to at least not bore everyone and be like, Hi! What's your favorite mozzarella cheese stick brand? <laughs> Imagine. I love how that's the first thing I thought of. What's your favorite mozzarella cheese stick brand? I love that. Okay. So we were talking about Daylight Savings Time. We talked about tomorrow's live. We talked about why we hate Mondays. Um, this might be just because I am curious to know with the people that are here what I should do for like a YouTube live schedule. Like, because one time I was, you know, someone said you should have like a actual schedule that like you commit to this day, this time, every week. So people know when you're going live instead of just being like randomly like, 30 minutes before being like, I'm going live in 30. Like, I get that it's really um, inconvenient of me to just, like, do it 30 minutes beforehand. Um, that's not on purpose. But I think I just need to rip the band-aid off and commit to a schedule. And then I'll do that schedule. So I wanted to see um, if people have certain days that they think would be best, certain times that they think that would be best, I wasn't sure if I should stick to, like, certain subjects for certain days of the week. Like, should, you know, should the Thursday be, I'm streaming a game with X, Y, and Z? Should the, you know, Friday be, I'm reacting to X, whatever, like, videos online? Like, should I be sticking to certain things every day of the week so that, but then... But then what if someone can't make it that certain day and that's the thing that they wanted to see? You know, like what if someone like only cares about me streaming this video game and it's like the Thursday and they're like, oh, I have fencing practice on Thursdays. <laughs> that's oddly specific. But I did know someone that fenced in the, well, I don't know if he actually like went to, went to the Olympics, but like was on the USA team when they went to the Olympics. Well, they all go to the Olympics, don't they? I don't think he actually like did it. He didn't do it. This is me. This is me fencing, by the way. So don't don't challenge me in a fencing match, because <laughs> I know my thing. Um, the one that makes the best Dino Nuggets. What's your favorite spider milk flavor? Uh, don't tell anyone. It's not out yet. It's still testing. Um, I feel like a strawberry. Actually, the last time I've had, I don't know if I've ever even had strawberry milk. Can I ask the chat this? Because this is, I'm curious now. Start a poll. Um, have you ever 
had tried strawberry milk. Like, I love how people, oh my god, I wonder if people only have had strawberry oat milk, not cow milk. Whatever, that's another question to ask at a later time. Now is not the time. Um, almond spider milk. Oh my god. Has anyone ever tried strawberry milk? I mean, I guess that's like a pretty... <sighs> See, it's hard because it's like, I feel like I have, but I don't think I have a memory of it. Like, it had to have been before I was, like, seven. Because I don't remember it otherwise, you know? Um, maybe I should try different milks. <laughs> the weirdest thing ever. It's just me blindfolded just trying different milks. See, that would be fun. <laughs> would it, though? You know, because I've had most milks. There's not that many, I guess. I mean, now there are. That's, I guess that's, up. Uh, that's, um... That's subject to, what's a, what's the phrase? Subject to debate. Is that what you say? Yeah. Because I saw a video of these Amish ladies, shout out to the Amish ladies on TikTok, who went to a restaurant and they tried ordering like what a typical American girl would order from like this coffee place. And it was like oat milk, there's kombucha, there's like almond milk, and they're like, we want cow's milk. And I'm like, same. I fully relate. And it's like, maybe I'll get to a point in life where I'm like, but is having almond milk that much healthier than cow milk? Like, doesn't it depend on the cow milk? Like, what if you have your own cow? Isn't that healthier than buying like silk almond milk? You know, I don't know. What's the point? Is it because, okay, the whole fact that like our stomachs are well, I have no, I have no place to talk about stomach problems. Okay, let's talk, let's not talk about that. Um, all right, I'll just end it now. Seems like people have tried strawberry milk for the most of it. Potentially not as, I eat oat milk because it tastes good and I'm lactose intolerant. Okay, got it. Okay, yeah, oat milk is definitely better than almond milk, in my opinion. In my opinion. I do appreciate oat milk more than almond milk. I don't like almond milk at all. Oat milk I can do with like a latte and some cereals. Like if it's like a Cheerio with a banana, okay, let's do the oat milk. But like how do you have cocoa pebbles with oat milk? I'd rather just put water, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just addicted to milk. <laughs> Maybe I'm addicted to cow's milk. I just need to get a cow, a pet cow, and I'll be set, and then no one can come for me for being unhealthy. I learned at a zoo, and it was Princess Day. My mom, it was the day she forced me not to wear princess dress. I'm still mad. That was over 10 years ago. That's funny. Yeah, so I don't know why. I guess I, guess I just grew up with, like, cow milk that... You know, they didn't really offer other milks until, like, a few years ago, right? I mean, maybe maybe they did, but maybe that was, like, for like, well-off people. <laughs> well-off. Um, because what other milks? There's, there's almond. There's, I mean, cashew milk. What is that, you know? Do people drink cat? Is that mean? Is that mean to say, like, who drinks cashew milk? I, like I've never tried it so maybe I'm just maybe I'm yucking someone's yum right now but I just can't get behind that like you're already doing the almond you're all, we're already milking too many things that shouldn't be milked right now goat milk I've never had it goat milk but I'm I'm a big goat cheese girly so I'm sure it's like I don't know I guess it is weird that I'm like drinking this one specific animal's milk like, that is a little weird, right? Like, like is there a reason why cows, like, you can drink cow milk more than, like, other types of animal milk? Like, just because society, just because, you know, the whole Got Milk campaign was a thing? The second stream should have tangent about me. <laughs> I know, I'm just like... You know what? We just got to keep talking about it. I need to get a milk sponsorship. <laughs> okay. But I will say that I have had oat milk. Specifically, M-A-L-K brand. Malk, I think it's called. Because it's like 
it's nice, it's bougie, it's whatever. Because some of the oat milks, they apparently are not good for you. So it's like, what? Why am I? Why am I not just drinking cow milk when? I, okay, the people that don't drink cow milk and the, do you really like oat milk and soy milk and almond milk, cashew milk more than cow milk? Cow milk is so good. I, <laughs> I'm just like craving milk right now. I just don't get it. Like, I get it, but I don't. I just don't know why. If you don't have like an actual allergy or like something wrong or you literally, you know, the outcome is not worth the income, the ingestion, then I get it. But if you're just like, oh, I just prefer oat milk. Do you really? Do you really? Do you re like, really? I don't know. Maybe. I guess everyone's different. Why am I yucking other people's yums? You know when people say that? I just learned that like phrase like two years ago and I just, every time I, I yuck someone's yum, I literally think about that and I'm like, I'm yucking someone's yum. I think someone must have said it to me because I was making fun of them for something and it probably wasn't something like valid because I eat everything. And it's usually like, I'm the one embarrassed. So I'm like, ew, why are you doing that? Cause I'm like, oh my God, I literally just ate like a Big Mac and a chicken sandwich and a fish filet. <laughs> so it's not their fault, it's me. It's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. Oh, it's okay, and yes, cow's the best, but I'd rather not have something. See, okay, that's what I, I understand that. I understand like, yes, I understand that, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like silence, I'm like, yes. That makes sense. But it's like, people are like, do you have oat milk? And they're like, totally fine with drinking cow's milk. And they, oh, people think that people that drink cow's milk are disgusting these days. What? What? I guess it is disgusting. Like, would I just go, like, if the world ended right now, would I just have to, like, go to a cow and be like, I'm so sorry, ma'am. Like, I guess, I guess draining an oat is better than doing that. I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, I actually had my first McDonald's fish fillet ever, like, a few weeks ago. And I don't know how I feel about it. I really think the sauce is an interesting thing. I did try to feed the fish. Well, maybe I shouldn't say this. Eh, who cares? I did try to feed my cat part of the fish fillet. Cause not the fried part, okay? The insides. If I can eat the, if I can eat the fish fillet, he can too, okay? He's fine. <laughs> Watch him like, oh my God, knock on wood. No, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Oh, tastes the best out of all. I agree. I do agree, Theo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the fish fillet has gone seriously down in quality. The McDonald's ones from when I was younger. Oh, really? They were? Okay, I've never had one until like a week or so like not a week, like maybe a month ago. And I, when I got the, oh, I got the double Big Mac. Was it called the double? Yeah, the double Mac. I got the double Mac and I was like, I don't want the whole double Mac. So I'm just gonna like take a bite or two, like give it to, you know, <laughs> my mom or something. And then I'm just gonna have a fish fillet cause I wanted to try it. The sauce was good. There wasn't enough sauce. The, the fish itself was like, do people get sick from, I mean, I didn't get sick from it, but do people get sick from it or is it safer like technically than eating like fish from like a restaurant? Because you know, sometimes I've gotten food poisoning from tilapia and it wasn't pretty and I'll never have tilapia, tilapia again. And it was a fish fried sandwich. It was probably the last fish fried sandwich I had before this one. And this was years ago. So I haven't had a fish sandwich in a while. Not that anyone, not that anyone needs to know any of like my... I'm like, I haven't had a fish fillet in how many days, how many, whatever. What was this about? Milk. Oh, uh, milk, fish fillet. Do they still sell milk jugs at McDonald's? You know, they had those like Ronald McDonald, like weird, awkward plastic jugs. You know, I'm so sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Me with my cow. Like if I could have a farm, I would. If I could have a farm, I guess I could have a farm in theory. I could do whatever I want. I'm like, imagine I just live stream. I'm like running to the airport. I'm like, 
<laughs> go to the south of France, open up a winery, plant a few, uh, wait, how do you make a truffle again? How do you make a truffle again? Because then I can get truffle pigs and then I can be rich because they'll sniff out the truffles and then I'll be rich. My name is not the one and only Annabelle anymore. It's Theo Enian Don Lee Annabelle. Yep. There's so many names in that, actually, if you think about it. Your fave Lucy. Let's go, Lucy. I love Lucy. People probably make that joke all the time. People probably make... You know, people always make these, like, certain jokes with your name. Not your name specifically, Lucy, but I'm just assuming because I just made a joke about your name and I feel bad. Not that... I mean, that's a good joke. I love Lucy. That's a good one, right? But there's na there are names that... The joke behind them... Maybe you don't want to be associated with. It's not Iron Wolf. It's I, Ron Wolf. <laughs> oh my God. That just reminded me of Harry Potter and my, my intense crush on Ron Weasley. Ron Weasley. And he's, you know who he's married to and has a baby with? If anyone knows the actor. Um, oh my God. How do I know his name? But not his. Let me think. Give me a minute. I'm not looking at my computer. like a random British name. It's not Ron. Angus, the girl from Angus Thongs of Perfect Snogging is dating. Oh my god, I have to remember this. I'm gonna cry. I'm like trying to like conjure a photo in my mind to like oh, I'm such a fake fan. Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grant! Oh, that's it, right? Oh, no one even wrote it. Okay, okay, wait, let me see. Rupert Grant, it is. Wow, isn't the brain crazy? I totally did not think of any name until I closed my eyes and thought Hermione, or not Hermione, Emma Watson, Dana Radcliffe, and then the other. That's kind of crazy, though. That's crazy. Ron Weasley, get out of your father's car this instant. It's so weird that, like, brains work like that. <laughs> Ew. If someone was just scrolling and passed by me and I just said, It's so weird that brains... <laughs> I need to go home. I'm like, bye. I just leave. I need, Actually, no. I, I need to make a farm in the south of France. So I can have a cow in case the world ever hits the fan and I could just have a cow. But then people will try to take my cow. So what do we do? Do we have a remote farm that people don't know about? But people are, you know, obviously we're going to have things to get them. Does anyone else watch like Walking Dead or like any of those like survival? Like what is it called? It's not totalitarian. See, it's like, oh, apocalyptic. That's what it is. Like those really trip me up because I'm like, this is going to happen. <laughs> and I don't have a cow yet. <laughs> I don't have a cow. I don't have, I don't have a pig. I don't have chicken eggs. I don't have truffle pigs. I have nothing. What do I have? I have a cat. What can you do for me? I guess you could catch mice, but he would probably claw me and be like, mine, get out of here. <laughs> I have dogs. I don't want to eat them. Like that's really bad. <laughs> that's really bad. That's why. Not because I love them, love them for years. No, just because it's really bad to do that. That's a joke, by the way. But I don't know, like, how do I... If I had, like, a fish tank of goldfish, how long does it take goldfish to make other fish? Like, how? what's the easiest way of feeding yourself via animals that you own and breed? I know that sounds really sick, and I've never... Okay, this sounds like I'm really, like, a mess up person. But, like, what's, like, the number one, like, you know, <laughs> quickest, <laughs> need that food source, what are we doing? You know, like, farm animal or just, you know, what, what, because, um, Tippy will hunt food for you both. I don't think he will, though. <laughs> Spider milk farm in a secret cave through a secret tunnel. I know. I'm like, here, let me see, let me see. Um, how long does it take 
for a pig to... I'm assuming a chicken, right? Because chicken are probably the cheapest out of all the farm animals. How long does it take for a pig to have babies? Three months, three weeks, and three days. I can't wait that long. Just to... No, pigs are cute. How long does it take for a chicken egg to hatch? Ooh, 20 to 21 days. That's quick. I'm like, women don't find out until that long. And for chicken, they're just like, boop, bye. I mean, clearly, okay. There's no, don't overthink that. There was no, there was nothing else to that besides the point that I thought it was crazy that it's only 21 days and, you know, you know, females every four weeks or three weeks or whatever. Depends, I guess. Um, how long... <laughs> I love how I'm so awkward and uncomfortable that I just keep covering up my own, like, weird sentences with, like, even worse topics. I just keep getting worse and worse. My mom and stepdad have chickens. If you get chickens, you want to get several in a rooster, but just one rooster, they won't lay unless they have a flock. Whoa! That's crazy. Yeah, I do know someone that has a rooster and multiple chickens, but... What they do with them is, I don't know, I'm not going to say much further, but they're not there for egg purposes, I think. Maybe they are. Who knows what they do with them, honestly. Should I report them? I'm, like, reporting them. I'm, like, I'm reporting you. Chicken facts. Okay. How long does it take for a cow to give birth? 283 days? I'm never gonna have more milk. <laughs> if someone steals my cow, I'm out of luck. Everyone, you know what? There should be a requirement for everyone to own a cow so that when, if things hit the fan, people won't be able to steal. Well, I guess people are gonna steal other people's cows regardless because people are selfish. Can I buy an island and eliminate all of the other ships so no one can come and get me? <laughs> These are my anxiety thoughts. Late night anxiety thoughts. Chicken facts. Spam chicken milk in the chat. Chicken milk, chicken milk, chicken milk, chicken milk. Hi, Ping. Hi, Hamilton edits. I know you want me to sing Satisfied, and I just I just don't know if I can do it, girl. That's a hard song to sing, girly. Girly pop. Okay, I'm trying to think of what are the farm animals. Mm, how long does it take? Probably it's similar for a goat. Probably a long time. 150 days. Yeah. That's a long time. And how many? They only have one goat? How many goats are born at a time? <gasps> they have as many as five? I thought that only one of those things came out. What the heck? Five of them? That's kind of crazy, actually. Wow. Wow. I'm now looking at, like, goat, like, ah, 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 what is that phone? <gasps> I can't show you, but it is a really disgusting photo. It's a photo. Just Google lost peacock creamery, the business of placentas. <laughs> if you care. Just so people don't think I'm lying. I was going to watch your mall murder, and I saw that you were alive, and I had to come here. Oh, thank you. I'll only be able to be on for like two, three more minutes just because, you know, tomorrow I'm planning on going live longer and I won't be on like for a few days like this weekend because I'm going away somewhere. But so I have to like get ready for that. If you know what I mean, like pack. <laughs> I'm like that word, that P-A-C-K, four letter word that no one wants to talk about before a trip. It, like, should be exciting, right, though? Like, you should be having fun while you pack. It's just like, am I forgetting something? Like, what am I supposed to bring, you know? What? <laughs> you know what I mean? A ser like, this is really serious right now. I'm like, how many goats can I own in the country of... I don't know. I'm thinking of, like, a remote country, and I can't think of any right now. Uh, What other animals are there on the farm? Let's sing the Ronald McDonald's, or what's not Ronald McDonald. Oh, McDonald had a farm, E-I-A-O. And on his farm, he had a goat, chicken, rooster, da -da -da, boo -da -boo, but a cow. 
and a wolf wolf here. Like what other, no, we're not eating my pet. What other food can I eat? Like what other meat? Turkey! How many turkey, or how many turkey? How long does it take for a turkey to lay an egg? Do they lay eggs? I guess they have to, right? <gasps> 10 months to her? Girl. Oh, but they can lay up to 100 eggs in a season? Oh my God. Okay. Chicken all day. Every We're making fried chicken on my island. There's no, but I do want milk. <laughs> but I do want milk. <laughs> Pack on life. Maybe I should do that like the day before I leave, like Wednesday. Then I'll pack on live. But then you'll know where I'm going. And it's supposed to be a surprise. It's supposed to be a surprise. Um, okay, so tomorrow, that's what's going on. The, the Kate, cat, Kate, cat, <laughs> Kate Middleton. And we might, like, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a poll and see if people want me to do the video, the Roblox again. Cause that was funny. That was, that was pretty cool. And Zach, I know could probably join either tomorrow or the next day. I don't know which day, but, um, I need sleep. So I'd better go see you soon. Bye. Have a good night. Um, stay pack on live, pack on live. Ah, I know, but I'm probably going to pack Wednesday. Is it a makeup tart trip? How did you know? Imagine me going on a makeup tart trip. I want, I, you know what? Maybe I should make one of those videos where I buy a bunch of tart makeup and then I'm like, day one of trying to go on the tart, but then it's not until like a year from now, right? So it's kind of like, maybe I should wait until like a few months before. There better be a cave of your spiders for spider milk or I can't come to your island. <laughs> what can't, like, I'm sure spiders have protein if you eat them. Not me eating bugs. Not me eating bugs. You're sounding a bit sniffly. I know. I'm not. <laughs> I love how I just. <laughs> I'm not. It's just a nose thing. It's not. I'm not sick. I'm not. Or maybe I am. But it's just like my sinuses, I think. Maybe it's the uh, the allergies. The allergies. Um, what could I be allergic to right now, though? Like, what is going on? There's no pollen, right? There's no bees out. Or bees, do bees come around? Let's go, Cody. Dry air. Maybe it's that. Probably that. But my, like, my, my breathing is still out of whack. And I hope that in the next few months it'll be fine. But I don't know. I've never had more of, like, a runny nose, like, on and off for, like, this long in my whole life. I think it's because of my deviated septum nasal valve collapse surgery which doesn't seem like they fixed so tar trip you should do that i wish i could bees are starting to work bees are having to go back to work bees you better work right tibby tibby why do you sleep when i'm down here and then when i come down here you're like crying like oh you'll ne you never hang up with me i'm literally down here for hours not just tonight. Like, I come in the morning, I do this, I do that. And he doesn't like the dogs. That's not my fault. You don't get along with the dogs. You scratch them. I'm scared. Okay, the, the big fear is I'm scared that he's going to claw and it's going to hit someone, a dog's eye. And I will never forgive myself for that. You know, need aromatherapy. I know. Usually if I like blow my nose for like a good whatever, sit and steam, whatever, it's fine. But, you know, when I'm on here, I'm not going to, maybe I should just blow my nose. I don't have a tissue though. <laughs> like, <laughs> girly, you eat spiders. I do not. Well, I'm never, but that doesn't mean I can't ever. I actually think I had a dream about my dog eating a bug and I was like appalled. I guess it's fine. Well, no, because bugs crawl. Like, they're... Well, I guess everything crawls. <laughs> like, is it that gross to eat? No, because when you when you eat, like, meat, it's, like, hopefully clean, right? It's not like a spider that's been crawling, like, on your moldy carpet. And then you're just like, oh, you know? I don't know. All right. Maybe I need to end this now that I'm talking about eating moldy spiders. <laughs>
I'm going to watch The Bachelor. Oh, yeah. I need to watch The Bachelor, guys. I need to. But we'll be on tomorrow. Hopefully for longer. Definitely longer than this one, I think. So maybe I'll start it earlier, too. But I appreciate you. And I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. And I'll see you the next day, maybe. And I'll see you when I'm gone on my trip, maybe. I'll be live streaming live from the place that I'm going. But anyway, hope you guys have a good night. And I'll see you guys.